What's up guys? Uh, with flagships now being released like the Galaxy S10, LG G8, and phones like the OnePlus 7 on the way, I kind of wanted to take a look back at the Pixel 3, which was until now basically the reigning king of Android smartphones for reasons like the pure Android experience, uh, Google-specific features like this, and basically having the best smartphone camera on the market. So, like I said, with all these 2019 flagships coming out, how does the beloved Pixel 3 fare? Well, ladies and gents and bohemians, we're gonna find out. Yo, that means stop. Bro, bro. So the biggest area where the Pixel 3 XL in particular lacks is design. I mean, god damn, this phone is ugly. Uh, a friend of mine described this as having a bathtub notch, which I thought was hilarious and also insanely accurate. I mean, really the whole point of a notch is to not have to have a giant chin on the bottom, but what does Google do? Put a giant chin on the bottom. And I know there's a speaker grill right here, yes, but Google really is an excuse because the iPhone 10 series of phones has no bottom chin, one of the best speaker setups on a smartphone, so they're not really excused. Another new change with the Pixel 3 XL is the change to a glass back design, which I'm pretty indifferent towards. I mean, wireless charging is cool and all, but me personally, I'd rather have my phone be less susceptible to being screwed up, but then again, that's what cases and skins are for and blah, blah, blah. Uh, the overall feel in the hand is fine. Uh, my hands are particularly big, I guess, so it's not really a problem holding it for me, uh, but the overall fit and finish is solid to say the least, besides having to look at this ugly ass front display every day. Uh, things like the lack of a headphone jack can be annoying AF at times, but uh, it's kind of one of those things I just learned to deal with. I've been using flagships without them for like two years at this point, so I'm really over it. But I understand people who don't want to compromise because it, it does suck, especially when you have phones like the Galaxy S10, 2019 flagship who are still retaining that feature. Arguably the biggest selling point for the Pixel 3 besides the camera is the software. Uh, it's running a Google specific version of Android Pie 9.0, which is the latest version and it'll damn sure get the next release before any other OEM, which is always a plus. Uh, you've got features like the squeeze to activate the Google Assistant, uh, Google's digital well-being tools, which have only been made available for a few other devices thus far. Uh, and yeah, Google's overall mission has been to make this phone the smartest smartphone. And I truly feel like they've done that. It has a lot of legitimately useful features. Besides those Pixel specific features, uh, the OS itself is my favorite iteration of Android. It's clean, it's pretty snappy, and there isn't a bunch of like pre-installed bloatware that I know I'm not gonna use. I've used flagship phones from LG and Samsung, uh, and out of the three, Google, in my opinion, does it best. And I don't know personally anyone who prefers like LG or Samsung software layout over Google's. Now, when talking about the camera on this phone, it's phenomenal. That's the easiest way to describe it. It basically kills it on 98% of the shots I take. Uh, sharp, super vibrant colors, awesome dynamic range. Uh, pretty much every photo I take is pretty well exposed all around. Uh, the portrait mode on this camera is really good as well. Um, it's using AI instead of like a dual lens setup. Um, and sometimes it can screw up a picture, but the majority of the time, if you're not inspecting each and every pixel, uh -huh, um, you'll be pretty pleased with the results. Um, and what I love about the Pixel is that it's using a single camera. Like all these other OEMs are doing this stupid more is better thing, putting three, four, five lenses on their phones. Google's basically smoking all of them with just the one. You had one job. Just the one. Uh, so if you haven't told already, uh, I really love the camera on this phone and Google has absolutely killed it since the first gen Pixel. And don't even get me started on night mode. It is one of the most incredible camera features to date on any smartphone. Here, I'll give you an example. You see this picture? Super dark, right? Well, this is what happens when you turn night side mode on. Boom, enough said. So there are a few ways in which the Pixel 3 still lags behind the competition. Uh, for one, the design alone is dated as hell. It's still using a traditional fingerprint reader as opposed to one built into the display, like on the OnePlus 6T or the new Galaxy S10. And not that I think this matters that much, but 
it doesn't have the latest mobile processor and it has significantly less RAM than its Android competitors. The model I have right here, the XL version, starts at $700 unlocked, with the only carrier you can purchase it from being Verizon, although you technically can use it on any major carrier you want. Uh, so that kind of puts it in the middle ground in terms of pricing. The Galaxy S10 starts at $900, the OnePlus 6T starts at $550. Uh, going with a phone like the Galaxy S10 over the Pixel 3, you're getting a much more modern design, better processing power, and the retention of the headphone jack. Going with the phone like the OnePlus 6T over the Pixel 3, you're getting an arguably faster, more feature-packed, and more stable software experience. Uh, but what the Pixel has over both of these phones is the best camera on the smartphone on the market, a lot of Pixel-exclusive AI features, and the fastest Android updates. At the end of the day, it's your decision on what phone you want to buy, but something that you cannot deny is that the Pixel 3 has a lot of steep competition in the Android space. So for now, I'm going to consider the Pixel 3 XL dethroned. That's pretty much it for this one. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, and share this video with someone who you think this might be useful to. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you in the next one. That'd be really cool though. You should put this in at the end or like as a blooper right before this part. This is good. Hi, my name's Eric. I also make videos. Wait for it. <laughs> Get the view. <laughs>